Hi everyone, welcome to Dharma Earth's Dose of Dharma, and this is your Dose of Dharma for today. So the second type of flood uh, uh, is called the flood of becoming. In Pali, we call Bhava Oga. Okay, Bhava Oga. Okay. So what is this? It is actually the desire for uh, to be reborn uh, as a uh, Brahma, whether it is in the uh, form sphere or formless sphere, Brahma. Okay, and also the attachment to jhana, which can lead to rebirth in the Brahma worlds. Okay, so what are Brahmas? Brahmas are the higher class of uh, heavenly beings. Okay, so like for the being for the he- heavenly beings uh, that we, we uh, there are different classes. Okay, one of the classes of uh, beings uh, uh, that is above the human realm. Okay, uh, called the uh, sense sphere, uh, heavenly beings. Okay, uh, what we call Kama Vachara Deva. So in this uh, in this sphere, okay, there are six levels of a uh, heavenly realm, and then for the Chinese culture, uh, when we have the heavenly emperor, okay, there's a figure called the heavenly emperor. In our common uh, folklore, uh, so this uh, heavenly emperor is said to be the the, um, the king of the uh, uh, the king of the heavenly beings of the first and second level. But above him, there are also even higher levels of heavenly beings. Okay, so all these heavenly beings they enjoy. Uh, long, a longer life, and then they enjoy a lot of uh, things that are good to see, uh, uh, hear, smell, taste, and touch. So that's why it's called the sense sphere, he- uh, heavenly realms, because they enjoy a lot of sensual pleasures. Okay. Then, above that, then we have what we call the form sphere. Uh, Form sphere brahmas, okay, or what we call rupa brahmas. So, in this uh, in this uh, realm, uh, there are also different levels. But uh, basically, if somebody before their death moment, they are able to uh, uh, enter into jhana, which is a very peaceful state of mind, and then they pass away in that uh, in the peaceful state of mind. Then, if they are abiding uh, in uh, one of the four uh, uh, rupa jhanas, uh, material jhanas or form jhanas, then they can be re- they can be reborn uh, in the brahma realms. Okay, so in this brahma realms, the this higher class of uh, heavenly beings, they do not need to eat one. Uh, they just abide in uh, the jhana state of mind. That will be uh, enough to sustain their life, their, their, their Brahma lives, okay? So there's no lust for, for and desire for sight, smell, uh, sight, sound, smell, taste, and uh, contact, uh, bodily contact, okay? And then even higher than that, that is what we call the formless, uh, formless spear brahmas, or what we call arupa brahmas. So in this uh, brahma realms, there's no materiality, there's no, there's no material form, there's only mental, uh, only mental states. And these brahmas, uh, they, they, they are always in that mental state like that. Okay. So. Um, in many meditators, okay, many meditators, they they know about uh, these uh, heavenly realms. Then, for those who have attained jhanas, okay, then after that, before they die, okay, there was a meditation teacher who asked them, okay, if you cannot be reborn, uh, if you cannot make an end of suffering this life, and you have to be reborn, where do you want to be reborn? Uh, where do you, which realm do you want to be reborn at? So many of them they reply that they want to be reborn in the Brahma realms. Huh? Why? Because they believe that uh, they will be free from 
many kinds of suffering if they are reborn as Brahma realms. Uh, if they are reborn in the Brahma realms as Brahma devas. Okay. Therefore, this attachment, uh, this attachment to the being reborn in the Brahma realms, uh, uh, they are called uh, Bhavoga, okay, which is uh, the the flood of becoming, okay, like that. So actually, uh, uh, for us uh, as meditators, it's good. It's good to always. Uh, uh, always uh, aim uh, to make an end of suffering uh, uh, this life but if cannot if really cannot then we may have to really choose uh, we have to consider uh, a place uh, a realm that uh, you you want to be reborn in and then after that practice for it okay Alright, so that's a dose of Dharma for today. We shall all be well, peaceful and happy and may the Triple Gem bless all of us to be able to attain path, fruition and Nibbana as soon as possible. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.